Good YouTube. It's your boy, Vusalos Fitness. I'm back with a video I haven't recorded in like a week. Well, I have recorded this previous week, but I kind of delete the footage off the camera. Yeah, I kind of uploaded it to my computer. I had like a something, something went wrong. My hard drive just wasn't responding. And Clever Musa deleted the files off the computer. And then I deleted it, I emptied it from my recycling bin. And then I went back into camera, I was like, ah, let me upload it again. And I realized once it uploads, it deletes off the camera. I don't know why it does that. Something in the settings that I need to fix. But yeah, today we're gonna be talking about my progress and where we're at with this whole dieting, uh, cutting phase, you know, get sharp, where we're at and how's everything going since the last time I spoke to you guys, which was the keto meal. Thank you to everyone that watched the video. I've got a few notes here. I'm gonna be talking to you guys about things that you guys are probably wondering and how's things going and all that stuff. Well, it's just gonna be a chit chat pretty much. Sunday, we're just gonna talk, uh, okay. So I'm still not counting calories. Now I know in my previous video when I did uh, the keto thing, I counted calories on that day and I was counting calories days after that. I just got to a point where I was like, man, I've been doing this for so long and counting calories is not, is there's, there's no way to, for a human to live. Like if you're gonna live to do this for a very long time, counting calories for the next 25 years, it, it just doesn't even sound right. It just sounds wrong, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It don't sound right for a human to be like, I have to count every single calorie that I put in my body for the next 25 years. No, you know, like obviously, because I'm, I'm got a strict timeline, so it would make sense for me to pick up that discipline and count calories, but I'm just like, nah, I can't be bothered. You know, I'm, I'm at the stage now where I'm like, if my numbers and everything is going down, I feel like I'm looking good, and I feel like I'm losing weight and stuff like that, I'm not gonna count calories until the point where I'm like, you know what, I'm kinda stagnant, like I'm, it's plateaued. I'm just staying at one number, nothing's moving. Then I'll say, you know what, maybe I need to see what what what, what foods and how many calories I'm actually putting into my body. And if, it's, if it needs to be reduced, you know? Sometimes just reducing 100 calories or 200 calories can make a big difference. If you're reducing 100, 200 calories every day, in a week, that's, a, that's like 700 to 1,000 plus calories you're reducing in your body. So counting calories is important. I'm not, if you're a new beginner, I'm not gonna say don't count calories because it's not worth it. I would say for the first week, basically clean up your diet. That's what I would say for a beginner. Clean up your diet for the first week. Second week, track the food that now you are eating and see if you're actually above maintenance or below maintenance. And if you're above maintenance and you're not losing no weight, and you're going on the scale and your weight's increasing, then clearly you're eating more than you should. But if you're going on the scale and the weight's dropping, I will stick at it. I will stick at it until you feel like, you know what, I'm not really losing weight at the way I want to, then I will reduce my calories. For me, that's just, it's how, it just makes sense doing it that way. Instead of just straight starting and just cutting a thousand calories. I swear to you, listen to what I'm saying, you are going to binge. At a certain point, it might be a week or two. You're like, I'm loving this. I'm losing so much weight. Da, 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 da. And then the sugar monsters and all these type of monsters be calling your name, saying, "Yo, come to me. I know you hear me calling. You know, there is one biscuit, two biscuits. Next thing you know, the whole package is gone because you reduced your calories way too fast. It's not the way to go about it. So yeah. I am not counting calories for now. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna start counting calories. Right now, I'm still losing weight at a steady pace. Um, I'm currently at 102.4 kg. The lowest I've got this week is 101.9. But like I said, your weight is gonna fluctuate. If you've been doing this for time, you understand that the weight is gonna keep going like that. When you're gonna scale, it all depends on how much water you've eaten, how much water you've drank, how much fiber you've put in your body, you know, have you slept enough? And all this stuff is so important to the way you wake up. Did you sleep eight hours or did you sleep six? And I'm telling you, it can make a big difference. Someone that's, I've done this before. I've slept like four hours before, woke up, weighed myself, and I was like, I'm still tired, I wanna sleep. Went back to sleep, I slept another four hours, I woke up, weighed myself, and I swear to you, I lost half a kilo. I don't think you guys understand what I'm saying. 0 0.5 kg. That's how much I lost within four hours of extra sleep. That leads me to my next point, sleeping. Musa is sleeping a minimum of eight hours nowadays. And that's why my weight loss has been so steady, so clean. Musa's getting tighter. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm joking, body fat's going. I don't believe in the whole toning up. But yeah, my body fat is going down because simply I'm, I'm letting my body recover. 
I'm giving it the hours it needs to recover. I know some people like Arnold Schwarzenegger's like, sleep six hours, sleep six hours. But trust me, when Arnold was a teenager, my man was sleeping right, you know. <laughs> I know he was sleeping good. When he came to the Hollywood movies, then maybe he reduced it to six hours and stuff. But in his like teen, if you're a teenager, if you're between like, let's say 15, 16 to 22, 23, get your sleep. You know what I'm saying? Get your sleep if you can. Um, I know so many people that, function the best when they're like sleeping like 10 hours 11 hours as long as the hours you're awake you're efficient during your work and stuff like that sleep as much as you can that's the best thing i can do if it's coming to weight loss and just standard good health sleep as much as you can people that know me well that are probably watching this video hearing me talk about sleep like this they're probably like who is this guy is this the guy that used to go sleepless nights for like three days? The guy that used to sleep for like two hours, wake up, go back to the gym, you know, and he literally just slept two hours and before that he was in the gym. Is that this guy talking? Yes, this is me. You know, you live and you learn. I've been there, done that. Uh, it was my grinding days. And, you know, sometimes you have to sacrifice sleep in order to get things done. It's just part of life. But I've come to the, a conclusion now. I'm at a stage in my life where I'm very time efficient my time i know exactly when i wake up i know exactly how my day is going you know and that's a blessing like that's taking me some time to develop not necessarily i've always had that self discipline and time consciousness since i was young you know what i mean because i grew up pretty much by myself with a younger brother having to be a father figure type of situation so i've, I've matured fast and my time i've always respected my time like i said to you guys two videos back um that quarantine corona times has been a blessing in disguise because now your your routine is like on repeat it's like every day is the same so it's very easy to get structured if that makes sense so yeah definitely sleep has increased my sleep is now eight to ten hours i'm not even gonna say eight hours less it's eight to ten hours every single day for the last two three weeks honestly and i feel amazing i feel great i love it <laughs> it's nice <laughs> So nice, I'ma say it twice. I love it. Um, I'm also walking 15,000 steps. So before my steps were at 10K every single day, I have increased that to 12,000 and now I've increased that to 15,000 steps every single day. Um, that means sometimes I might have to do two walks, like one in the morning, just to get my body warm and everything, then come back and do my work, and then one in the evening. If I try to do it all in the evening, it can be a bit too much. That means that I have to walk pretty much cost crunchy. You know what I'm saying? Man, I have to walk 15,000 steps. Ain't small, you know? Especially if I've been the whole day just sitting and all of a sudden now I've got to chuck in 15,000 steps in the evening. It's like, it's a lot. But if you're during the day, if you're walking around during the day and everything, you can pick up 15,000 steps pretty fast. But when you're just sitting and you just have to bang out 15,000, it can be a bit overwhelming. So I like to separate it into two different walks. Walking has increased. Again, that's extra calories being burnt without you really thinking about it. I like to listen to audiobooks. Sometimes I listen to nothing. Um, sometimes I listen to music. It depends on how you feel. So if you're walking, you know, maybe time it's time to increase the walking steps that you do. Um, you know, there's so many apps on your phone. There's Google, Google Fit, and all this stuff that you can track how many steps you're doing. Um, so get those if you haven't got it. <clears throat> Next up, we have HIIT Cardio. Now, right now, as you guys know, I've got weights. If you don't know, you're probably watching this for the first time, but I got weights the other day, um, not two weeks, about a week, week ago? About a week ago, week ago, yeah, about a week ago, I got dumbbells, um, 130 kg, two 15s, two eights. I got two threes as well. I got a medicine ball that's 12 kg and some mats and some resistant bands. So I got fairly enough to do a full body workouts pretty much so right now my plan is to do weight training every other day and also hit cardio every other day i've done that for like since i've got the weights i've done that every other day right now it's working well um i feel like my weight is not dropping as fast now because i feel like you know when you when i haven't had a pump in forever and now that i've got weights i'm starting to lift and my muscles are starting to get pumped and everything so i feel like my weight's just like like this doing like this right now simply because muscles are getting pumped, but I'm still losing body fat. So it's like balance. It's like you're pumping, you're losing body fat. So it's like your weight's gonna, if that makes sense, do you know what I mean? You know, I think you, I think you guys know what I mean. So I'm not, too be bo I'm not too bothered that my weight's not dropping as fast as it used to. I'm not really, but I'm just like, mo I'm gonna talk about this in a separate video of different ways to know if you're losing weight. Um, but yeah, 
Right now my weight's pretty slow, you know? It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. Um, but I'm, I feel good, I feel like it's nice to have a pump again. Uh, you know, chest feeling hard, arms feeling good, you know what I'm saying? I love it. Um, but yeah, we're doing hit cardio and weight training every other day. Um, soon I might increase the hit cardio and make it an everyday thing. You know, first thing in the morning and in the evening I do my weight training. It's gonna get to a time where I have to do that, you know, to, to increase the amount of movement I'm doing in the day. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, um, but yeah, we started off with 108 kg, which is 238 pounds. And now we are at 102.4, which is 225 pounds, which is 13 pounds down. Um, I would like to say majority of that is body fat. I would like to say at least 10, 10 pounds of that is body fat because I can feel it, I can see it, <laughs> you know. Um, I have a camera over here which I literally use every single day to take front, side and back photos. Um, I haven't looked at none of the photos yet. Like I just take the photo, it takes the photo and I turn off the camera and I put it back in its position. So, um, when, when we get to like 30 days or maybe 60, I'm, I think I might go for 60. When we get to 60 days, that's what we're gonna do it together. I'm gonna, play, I'm gonna put the camera on and record myself uploading the photos to the computer and I can see like the, see the first day and the 60 day. That's why you guys haven't really seen me say, oh, let me do a physique update or anything like that. It's because I wanna, I wanna see how much, how much we've changed, you know? Cause obviously when you're looking at yourself every day, you're weighing yourself and all that stuff, it's just something in your brain that just says, I'm not losing weight. I'm not losing weight. It's not working. It's not working. You know, when really and truly it is. So I don't want to get too caught up in just looking at the photos, looking at the photos. Um, I'm going to wait for around 60 days and then we're going to check it out and see how much we've actually lost within a 60 day window. But yeah, that's it for this video. I just thought, you know, I'm talking way too much, um, but hopefully you guys picked up something um, with me talking to you. And as always, thank you for supporting this journey. Hopefully you're on your own journey as well. And you can use this as inspiration. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're still, on a, again, we're still on a low keto, low carb diet, keto diet. We're still on that. Um, it hasn't changed. When the diet does change, I will let you know. But for now, we're keeping it at that. I'm loving it. I'm not missing sugar. And I've done this multiple times. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm comfortable with it. But again, thank you for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Love life. Love life. Love life. Peace.